Welcome to Collaborating with Teachers and Their Students Using HAPRA Workspace. Hi, I'm Tracy Nazarella, and I'm a teacher with the Ottawa Catholic School Board in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a co-teacher to your workspace, how to add that co-teacher students to your workspace, and how to mix the two classes of students into collaborative groups. How can we leverage workspace to deepen the learning of our students? Cooperation. Here's a little inspiration from Helen Keller. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we could do so much. Adding a co-teacher to your workspace is easy. All you have to do is press add teacher, type in their email address, wait a couple seconds, and then they're in your workspace. Once you've added that co-teacher to your workspace, they have full editing rights and complete access to your workspace. Now, I knew how to add a co-teacher to my workspace, but this is something cool I figured out. Did you know that the co-teacher can add his or her students to the workspace too? Imagine the possibilities. By creating a shared workspace, you could bring deep learning to your classroom by expanding your learning environment, challenging your pedagogical practice, leveraging digital while building learning partnerships for you and your students. Why create a shared workspace? Well, I have a few ideas. I think it would be cool to expand learning beyond my four walls. To have my morning class collaborate with my afternoon class. To be able to work with the teacher and students across the hall. To work on a special project across my school board. I want to make huge math problems for my students to collaborate on. Multi-grade school-wide projects like design thinking challenges, or multi-grade projects like Kinder Buddies. Or we could have whole grades working together on standardized test prep. How do I create a shared workspace? First, you just add a co-teacher. Then you have that co-teacher add his or her students to the workspace. This is an important step because once you add that co-teacher, you don't have automatic access to their students. They need to add their own students to the workspace. Once the two classes are in the shared workspace, you can start mixing them up and create groups like you always have, but pull students from each class. Imagine the possibilities. You can build collaboration, partnerships, communication, shift to authentic learning. Thanks for watching. I'm hoping that you're going to share your ideas with me. Find me on Twitter and share your awesome ideas about how you're going to use collaborative workspaces at your school.